Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sammy Sandwiches. I'm your host, Jordan. Sammy uh, isn't doing the show anymore, but uh, we're gonna keep uh, making sandwich reviews for you guys uh, every Tuesday. Last week we were reviewing the um, meatball sub from the subway on Glendale Boulevard, and today it's um, the Laredo sandwich from Porto's uh, down the street. Uh, Sammy actually uh, never liked Porto's. Uh, that's why we never went before, but I don't talk to him anymore, so uh, I can go to Porto's if I want. <clears throat> the Laredo uh, is a, uh, it's a, it's a, a beef and egg um, based sandwich. It's a good whirl. <clears throat> um, so right off the bat, um, the Laredo is uh, really juicy and creamy inside. Uh, I think there's like a, like a mayo, kind of a spicy mayo. Um, I would definitely suggest it if you uh, can handle spice. If you can't, this might, uh, it's probably not gonna be that good. But, yeah, second bite, I, I definitely would probably agree with, <clears throat> with Sammy. Um, the egg is a little too much. I guess I'd rate the sandwich um, two out of five toothpicks. All right, I'm not. I, I don't want to eat any more of that sandwich, but um, you know, Porto said has a lot of other uh, good pastries and, and sandwich based uh, pastries. And Sammy, if, if you're watching this, uh, I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep doing the show without you. Uh, uh, Sam, Sam, uh, Sam, you later. Sam, you, you later. Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Sammy Sandwiches. I'm your host Jordan. Uh, Sammy's still not going to be on the show uh, for right now, but it's totally cool. So last week uh, I gave kind of a negative review to Portos, and um, boy did I hear about it on social media. And uh, so I thought, hey, let's give it, let's give it another try. Um, so I, I, I went uh, over to Portos Bakery Cafe and got a cheese sandwich. It's kind of a simple uh, a cheese sandwich. Um, really focusing on the croissant is definitely going to be the, the main part of this uh, review. Later on, we're gonna get to the bottom. Uh, I know, I, I'm trying not to get too political, and I know that the, the country is pretty divided about stuff right now, um, and so I think it'd be good to kind of uh, finally figure out like who the winner is be between sour cream and onion, Lay's and original Lay's, um, to kind of like uh, put that to bed at once for all. Like, uh, like Sam, uh, not here. Um, like Sam used to say, let's get sandwiching. Here we go, this is a, so it's another egg-based. I didn't know that there was egg in it, but it's cheese and egg. Uh, I'll be talking about the croissant mostly. The croissant's really flaky and buttery. Um, and I, I like the, uh, the sesame seeds really add some extra crunch in there. Um, I still don't like egg in sandwiches either, but I'm not gonna hold that against it. It's it's a it's a pretty well-made sandwich, and uh, don't please don't. Um, I said it was a it was a positive thing about the sandwich. Now on to the um, the main battle, uh, the main event. It's um, sour cream and onion lays versus classic um, classic original lays. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put both of them in my mouth same time and uh, uh, we'll see how this goes. So pretty uh, pretty equal crunch on both sides um, but hey uh, I'm just that kind of guy who likes a, a little bit of flavor in life and um, the sour cream and onion really blend together in a way that um, it's, it, I mean, it's kind of a, a perfect, it's kind of two perfect tastes put together to make um, some, it's like two different parts put together to make something stronger and better. I'm definitely gonna keep eating, um, definitely gonna keep eating these uh, sour cream and onion chips and uh, uh, comment below if you think I'm right. Um, uh, and Sammy, uh, if you wanna comment too, which chips you like, Sammy, uh, that'd be great uh, to hear from you. Okay, Sammy later, guys. Uh, Sam, you later. Hey guys, um, welcome back to another episode of Sammy's Sammy's. I'm your host, uh, Jordan. 
Sammy is still not doing the show. He's not texting me back uh, or, or G-chatting me anymore. So sorry guys. Um, I guess I'd, I'll just be the bigger man and say that I'm sorry. Uh, I did not know that you cared so much about the movie Prometheus. Totally understand like that that fell into some sort of like deep-seated resentment against me because like I treat I treat like some of our other friends a little bit nicer than you. I think it's just because we work together all the time. Like we're roommates, we live together. We're you know like working together. We have a lot of like creative differences, and um, like that's what a partnership is actually like kind of about. Big picture, I'm sorry. I like we have something that we should definitely like keep going with. Like this show is means a lot to both of us, and um, just I, I would love it. Uh, if you came back. <clears throat> All right, so anyways, um, today uh, still some people online are thinking that I hate Portos. I don't, I don't, like, I uh, can't emphasize enough, I don't hate Portos. Um, really uh, like their pastries and uh, trying it again to, today. I'm trying the Portos uh, ham. Simple, like, I love ham. Uh, definitely, I'm sure I'm gonna like the sandwich and not have any critiques, uh, now that I'm pandering to you. Uh, but even a uh, bigger deal, like a lot of your comments are about figuring out, you know, uh, Jordan, what uh, what's a better tasting uh, refreshing drink? And that is uh, Coca-Cola um, soda. And that is uh, diet Coca-Cola soda, usually, um, usually for chicks. Um, that's why they have Coke Zero for uh, dudes. But um, it's been around such a long time that I think uh, you can't just judge a, a soda by what gender it is. Um, all right, but let's uh, let's get salmon. So let's, sorry, let's get let's get Sam let's get salmon. All right, so uh, again, the ham is a uh, it's a croissant. That's a croissant based sandwich uh, with sesame seeds like uh, the other <coughs> the cheese sandwich did. And um, all right. The ham is is not totally evenly dispersed, but when I I just took a just took a really good bite of this, the ham, and it's um it's a good that's that's pretty pretty good uh, honey baked. Pretty sure that's honey baked ham. Um, it's good. I'm done with. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna have any more. But <clears throat> cool. Uh, I I really worked up a thirst. So perfect timing uh, to do the Battle of the Two Titans, um, as I've been calling it. Coke versus Diet Coke. Um, I'm not fat, so I don't need to diet, so I don't really drink it. But um, I appreciate what it has done for our American culture. And Coca-Cola invented um, Santa. So this is these are really two respected brands, and it's about time that we got to the bottom of this. So. Um, all right, I'm gonna start with Diet Coke um, to give it a give it a first chance. <coughs> it's pretty good. Um, no, dude, um, that kind of is like shit. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a reason that. Um, <coughs> There's a reason why diet, um, people think it's like shitty because it tastes like shit. I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry, Coke, I like half of your stuff, so don't sue me, please. Um, cool. So, uh, there we go, guys. Coca-Cola doesn't taste like shit. Diet Coke kind of does. And, uh, again, I don't know if you, if you missed the beginning, like, Sam, I don't know if you're just jumping to the end or something. Uh, I would love, I would love to continue this partnership and uh, I'll do anything for you. Okay, uh, that's it for this episode, and see you later.